Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be calculating the mode of grouped data. So we start with the problem. The frequency distribution table below shows the lifespan of poultry bears in Oninab farm. Calculate the mode of the distribution. So we have the frequency distribution table here, lifespan as the class intervals, and the number of beds are given for each of the class intervals so we go ahead to calculate the mode so we have the table here already arranged in vertical form then we start with the formula for the mode of grouped data so we have a formula here uh, lm is the lower class boundary of the modal class and uh, delta one is the positive difference between the frequency of the modal class and the frequency of the class before it, while delta 2 is the positive difference between the frequency of the modal class and the frequency of the class after it. We still have our W as the class width or class size of the modal class. So we are going to create additional column to the table to accommodate the lower class boundary. So we have additional column as lower class boundary. And again, we're going to make use of only the lower limits of the respective class intervals. So we make use of this lower limit. This is the upper limit. For your information, if there's a class interval before the first class interval, the upper class interval will be 49. So we are going to make use of this 49 and 50 to get the lower class boundary of the first class interval. So we say 49 plus 50 divided by two, which gives 49.5. Then again, we go with 99 and 100. 99 plus 100 divided by two gives 99.5. Then 149 and 150, adding them and divide by two, we have 149.5, 199 and 200, adding and dividing by two, we have 199.5. Then also 249 and 250, adding them and dividing by two, we have 249.5, 299 and 300, adding them and divide by two gives 299.5, 349 and 350. The sum divided by 2 gives 349.5, 399 plus 400 divided by 2 gives 399.5, 449 plus 450 divided by 2 gives 449.5, then 499 plus 500 divided by 2 gives 499.5. So having gotten this, we then go ahead to identify the modal class. The modal class will be obtained via the frequency column by identifying the highest frequency. And uh, the highest frequency here is 76. So the class interval to it will give us the modal class interval. So this is the modal class interval. So it is very obvious now that our LM is 249.5. We can then go ahead to calculate delta 1, delta 2, and our W. Our delta 1 is the positive difference between the frequency of the modal class and the frequency of the class before it, which is 76 and 68. So we have to find the we then find the positive difference, which is 76 minus 68, which gives 8. Then for delta 2, it is going to be the frequency of the modal class and the class after it. So we find the difference between the two frequencies. That's going to give us 76 minus 62, and that gives 14. And our class width, which is the W, this is equal class interval. We have equal class interval here, 
since 99.5 minus 49.5 gives 50 149.5 minus 99.5 gives 50 199.5 minus 149.5 gives 50 in the same way 249.5 minus 199.5 gives 50 therefore the class size is 50 then we've gotten all the parameters needed to calculate the mode so that our mode now will be equal to our lm our lm here is the lower class boundary of the modal class that is 249.5 plus delta 1 delta 1 is 8 so i have a 8 over 8 plus 14 since delta 1 is 8 14 is delta 2 then multiply by the class width which is 50. so again we are going to simplify the brackets then multiply by 50. so we now have 249.5 plus 18.18 to two decimal places then summing up this we have 267.68 as the mode i hope you love this you enjoy the class thank you for watching please remember to like and share this video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel also check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the other videos on statistics until we come your way again Goodbye.